I grew up outside of Manchester in a place called Edenfield in a place called Ramsbottom. Growing up around there was really nice because it was really raw, it was really beautiful. I'm definitely a city person now, but I still have a lot of appreciation for the countryside. When I was younger, I was quite loud and outgoing, very excitable. My parents divorced when I was three. My dad married my nanny, which was cool. We were at a family party a few weeks ago. In my dad's speech, he announced that he and his wife had been together almost 30 years. Two months prior was my 30th birthday. My mum remarried when I was 17 and told me that she was married when I was about 18. In her words, just for tax reasons. When I got to senior school, I got bullied quite a lot and was just really unhappy. I got bullied for being gay. When you're 11 years old, that's pretty tough because you don't really realise yourself. And I just sort of really retreated into myself. Being bullied definitely made me stronger and more determined to do what I wanted to do and to be what I wanted to be. During that time, I felt like I was sort of trapped in this place that I hate. You don't have a eureka moment where you wake up one day and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm gay. My mum's side of the family is very much gay-friendly, shall we say. Growing up, whenever there was dinner parties, it was never um, John and Jane. It was very much George and Bill coming for dinner or David and Justin. The first thing my mum said when I told her I was gay was, well, you know me, darling, I'm delighted. I didn't actually tell my dad about being gay. My sister did. I was home for the weekend and then I was headed off back to London and he just gave me a hug and said in my ear, I know and I love you and it's fine. I have a lot of sort of frenetic energy, I think. I'm kind of constantly working or constantly thinking, constantly trying to create stuff or do things or travel to new places. I feel happiest when I feel busy um, and when I feel on the go or on the move. I'd like to think, as a friend, I'm very loyal. I'm very kind and generous. Maybe not massively generous. Can be quite tight. I like to have a lot of fun with my friends. My friends are hugely important to me. I think if you move away from home at a young age, if you don't live in the same place as your family, you have to create your own. Most of my friends I've known for at least five years or more. I mean, my sisters, one of my best friends as well, were really close. I despise gossip. If I feel I'm being talked about, it makes me very uncomfortable. I hate it. But then I gossip all the time. My work enables me to travel a lot. It's one of my favourite things about my job, getting to see the world and experience it in a very unique way. And it means that I'm on planes for quite a large portion of my life. But I quite enjoy long haul travel. It's a brief moment of quiet from your emails, from your phone, where you kind of get to sit and just watch films and not feel guilty about it. You just are up there with your own thoughts, locked away. Hatred, even on a bike. Did you head in? Speed bumps. I hate speed bumps. Speed bumps are the worst invention, and they're everywhere. I'm definitely a royalist. It's something that makes us different and very British.
I met the Queen very briefly. She was very funny, very droll. My hairstyle is kind of distinctive. I realised when I was probably about 17 or 18 that having really high hair detracts from a really big nose. Kind of like my armour. I'm very unhappy if anybody touches it or messes with it. It's a real situation. The noise of two people kissing on the tube is so offensive that it just really repulses me. It makes me very cross. I don't really have to cope with the attention of fame in the media. It can skew the way that you see the world. You have to just sort of see it the way that it really is. I ran the London Marathon in 2011. It was physically the most challenging thing I've ever done. Towards the end, mentally pretty challenging as well, but so fulfilling. I mean, I finished in three hours, 28 minutes and 58 seconds, but there's still three hours, 28. I fear failure. I think maybe that's part of my sort of ongoing energy is just that fear of failure sort of driving me to keep going and keep growing and building and bettering what I do. The worst quality is my attention span is very short. 